Throughout my lifetime, I've learned a lot of information, both about myself and about what I need in life. For so long, I thought maybe the life that I wanted was maybe out of reach and impossible, it seemed. I always met people that were really unhappy with life and thought that things should be handed to, handed to them just for participating. No one could match my level of intensity until I met you. Our conversation flowed so naturally on our first date. I felt as though we'd been friends for years. We talked about our upbringings and our families, where we grew up and our expectations for our future. Since I've met you, I've recognized three distinct things about you. You're incredibly hardworking, you're a tremendous father, and you're so youthful. <sighs> you never hesitate to speak your thoughts and aspirations for me around your parents or family, and you never fail to put your best foot forward with Kendall, and you always make me feel so incredibly loved. Over the last year and a half, we have learned to co-parent, adapt to our ever-evolving lives, and grow together as one. I love you more now than I did yesterday, and even more tomorrow. Just excited. I am happy for her. Mm -hmm. um, happy for him. And can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> I love Brandon. I, I think they are like two little peas in a pod that will do well. I, I really do. I think they'll do well. Nice to see you guys. Thank you very much. I Just as you. lovely as you represent yourself in your face. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It did it last night. And I slept on it. <laughs> I told my, I told my uh, hairstylist, I said, you're, you're phenomenal. Sweet. 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 You love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am Brittany. I am Brandon's sister. I'm excited. <laughs> Super excited, huh? Well, I knew Shania at, from work. I knew Shania's mom, and then I met Shania. Mm -hmm. And whenever I found out that my brother was seeing Shania, I was ecstatic. <laughs> I went, I invited myself to the house just to see them. <laughs> so I'm excited. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh my, about my brother. He's one of a kind, that's for sure. I was always the big sis, but I'm happy for him. He's happy, found the love of his life, and I can't wait for her to hear those vows. Who's more excited? <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> I think I knew they were perfect together when Shania explained how much she loved him. Like it was like his mic like meant to be never seen her happier in her life so and they complement each other where he lacks she steps up where she lacks he steps up like they complement each other very well they're like two little peas in a pod and i just hope they do really well together I think they're in for a lifetime of love and happiness. Well, Shania and I's dad have been together 30 years, married 28, try never and go to bed angry, um, forget the small stuff, it's not worth arguing over, and pick your battles. And with men, always make them think they're right. <laughs> That's the way to a happy marriage. <laughs> Even when they're not right, you let them think they are. Okay. <laughs> so, Brandon and I met probably a year and a half, a little over a year and a half ago, and it was one of those things where we were just two friends under the same roof, you know. We didn't even talk that night, really, you know. We talked a little bit about my college when I was finishing my bachelor's, and you know, it was a couple days later and I got this this text from this unknown number and it was him and he was like, I know you're really busy, I understand that, you know, but you, could you clear some time for me for some dinner? On me, my treat. And I was like, I was busy and I am, I'm a busy woman. So I was like, oh, I don't know. All right, what the heck, free food. So, 
So we did, we went out, we went to um, Jean Benet's and very classy man opened my car door for me and that was what I was always told by my parents. When they open your car door, that that's someone genuine, you know? And I'd always asked him, you know, there's an age difference. He's 28 and I just turned 23. And I asked him, I said, does that ever bother you at all? He's like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's like, I, I firmly believe that if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it was one of those things where we progressed pretty quickly, but it always felt right. And never once did I go, oh, I don't know. You know, what if this isn't right? What if it's too quick? You know, and my mom always told me, she's like, you always have a home to stay at, but I don't think you're gonna need it, you know? And we did, we renovated a house together and turned it into a home. And, you know, his daughter is amazing, you know? And that's one of the things that I was scared. I won't even lie, walking into it that I was, Worried I wasn't going to measure up to the perfect best friend for her. And I've been proven wrong. Her and I are two peas in a pod best friends. Brandon. <laughs> Throughout my lifetime, I've learned a lot of information, both about myself and about what I need in life. For so long, I thought maybe the life that I wanted was maybe out of reach and impossible, it seemed. I always met people that were really unhappy with life and thought that things should be handed to, handed to them just for participating. No one could match my level of intensity until I met you. Our conversation flowed so naturally on our first date. I felt as though we'd been friends for years. We talked about our upbringings and our families, where we grew up and our expectations for our future. Since I've met you, I recognize three distinct things about you. You're incredibly hardworking, you're a tremendous father, and you're so youthful. Oh. You never hesitate to speak your thoughts and aspirations for me around your parents or family, and you never fail to put your best foot forward with Kendall, and you always make me feel so incredibly loved. Over the last year and a half, we have learned to co-parent, adapt to our ever-evolving lives, and grow together as one. I love you more now than I did yesterday, and even more tomorrow. See you soon, Mr. Bennett. This is my sweet little grandson, Brantley. Hi, me. Oh my goodness. It wasn't long, I think, after he met her that he come home to the house, which, you know, we live just in the same little town. Mm -hmm. All my kids do. I'm so fortunate. Mm -hmm. And um, he was like, Mom, he said, I think I found the one. And I'm like, really? You know, because Brandon's ornery. <laughs> and I said, well, that is great. He said, uh, it was like, you know, she come to the house with a, a friend of hers to meet Brandon. And uh, it, they just you know, had so much in common, um, got along, I mean, just, and everything just moved along, um, learning to know Shania, she is a wonderful girl, young, but just very smart, very smart girl, strong head on her shoulder, and I just thought, she's wonderful with Kendall, She's wonderful for my son. She's taught him lots of things. Um, and I thought, this is the one. This is the one for my son. Um, we love her to death. And uh, I'm very happy for Brandon. He has come a long way. And I'm very happy to uh, see this day come. Oh my. Always communicate, um, always, you know, talk things out, um, and as they always say, never go to bed mad, always give the, give the kiss, good night, and um, just live each day like there's no tomorrow. I, I'm hoping everything goes well and uh, the rain stays away and we uh, 
hope we have a good happy ending at the end. Uh, I'm tickled for both of them, and uh, it'll it'll be good in the long run. I knew Shania was the one for Brandon when he come home and consistently about how much he loved her and how good she was, that how she changed different things in his life. And the other thing that was very positive, she's very good to Kendall, his daughter. So, you know, that, that really was a big player in all that. Communication's very good and, uh, you know, you might have some rough days, but they'll, they'll turn into good ones after a while. So just uh, communicate for a long time, yes. Okay, so Shania came around in late 2019. I'm going to say it was December. Um, I had a small gathering at my house, and a friend of hers came down, and she was bringing her friend, which happened to be Shania. And ever since that night, it was... Brooke was the friend's name. She was bringing her hot friend Shania. And ever since then, I mean, I texted Brooke days later and said, you know, you should give Shania my number. We really hit it off great that evening. Um, she took full responsibility of my daughter, fooled with her, read stories, bedtime stories, and I just knew that, I mean, I had very, very interest in this woman. Um, and it happened to be, it was after Christmas, it was into New Year's. We really started, you know, throughout the week after work and things seeing one another and I mean it wasn't long I think we were moved in together within two months of knowing each other I mean we just really hit it off together okay so Shania at a young age at she was 22 when I met her 21 turning 22 she was very mature she had a very very level head on her um, very responsible and when I say mature, I mean held a full-time job, nice car. Um, she was just really ahead of the game for her age. And then coming into a household where there was a child involved and she just fit right in and just went with the flow for someone that wasn't there and just stepped up to the plate. It just blew me away that there was a person out there of this capability that wanted to persuade that life with me and it, it just it went and here we are today the way Kendall sees you see the sparkle in Kendall's eye when Shania comes home from work when they go to girls days together the look on that child's face the expression that she has and shows when Shania gives her attention and folds with her takes her to do nails is something that you can't even put into words that sparkle that shine that she brings to our house and it, it's she's she was the missing piece to Kendall and I's life that um, the puzzles put together now uh, she she was the part that was missing um, and just fulfills that exceeds that beyond explanation 25 years from now I'd love to see ourselves with our dream home that we've built together, a family that we've created together, and meeting our goals that we've talked about for the past year and a half, 25 years from now, that's where I wanna see us with that finished basement, with the bay garage, the home, all the side-by-side -side and extra toys that we've worked so hard for together and made it come together as one family do it together I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else but you but it sure feels like a lie so take my heart and take my hand take my heart take my hand take my heart and take my hand again and again right where we stand Take my heart
Slow and sweet, mmm, just right. She's an endless all year summer, yeah, sunshine 365. When she forgets the punchline, it still gets me every time. Cause I love every little, every little, every little thing about her love. And just a little, just a little, just a little, ain't enough. I gotta get her, gotta get her, get a little more of what she does.
glad you're all here to celebrate this wonderful celebration of matrimony. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony which is commended to be honorable among all men and therefore is not to be entered into lightly but reverently and solemnly. Into this holy estate these two persons now come to be joined. If any person can show just cause why they may not be joined together let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Through marriage, Brandon Lee Benning and Shania Hope Steinkirchner make a commitment together to share their joys, face their disappointments, embrace their dreams, and accept each other's shortcomings. Brandon and Shania make a promise one to another to aspire to these ideals throughout their lives together through mutual understanding. Who gives this woman in marriage to this man? We are here today before God because marriage is one of his most sacred wishes. And today we are fortunate to be witnesses to the beginning of Brandon and Shania's union this occasion marks the celebration of commitment that this man and woman hold for one another. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, in the past you have greatly blessed Brandon and Shania as individuals. Now we ask your special blessing on their marriage union. As they begin their married life together, may you keep a watchful eye on them. May you display your love toward them. And may you shield them from anything that would harm the vows they take one to another on this blessed day. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, it is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Where there are tongues, they will cease. Where there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, that which is in part will be done away. <clears throat> when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, 
and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is the union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind. It is intended for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given one to another in prosperity and adversity. But more importantly, it is a means through which a stable and loving environment may be attained. This ceremony is not the beginning but the continuation of their growth as individuals. And with mutual respect comes the affirmation of each one's own happiness. By gathering together all the wishes of happiness and our fondest hopes for Brandon and Shania from all present here, we assure them that our hearts are in tune with theirs. <clears throat> These moments are so meaningful to all of us. For what greater act is there for two human souls than to feel that they are joined together, to strengthen each other in all labor, to minister to each other in all sorrow, to share with each other in all gladness. At this time, we will have the exchange of vows between Brandon and Shania. You want to go first? Me. You go first. Okay. No, uh, no, I'll go. Why? I want to go. Okay. Okay. Brandon, I spent the last two months trying to figure out what I would say in this very moment. And so much has came to mind, but how do you put the last year and a half into words? It occurred to me on the drive here that it isn't about the last year and a half, but the future that we're going to have together. As I stand in front of you today, I understand marriage isn't promising to spend my life with you during just the happy times. When life is full of light and the road is smooth, that's easy and anyone can promise you that. I'm here to promise you that I'll be here when the clouds get thick and the road ahead of us seemingly grows darker. As many times as we've fallen down, we've always helped each other back up cleaned each other off, and kept moving forward. Until death do us part, I promise to support you, love you, and never take you for granted. Kendall, meeting you and being part of your life has been one of the craziest adventures of my life, but also one of the most beautiful ones as well. You've taught me to find my inner child and to embrace her. I promise to always be your number one cheerleader, to support you in every way possible, and to always love and care for you as long as you promised to help me keep your father in check. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> to the both of you, I'm not promising perfection by any means, but I am promising effort, support, and unconditional love to the both of you. Thank you. Now is mine scratch. Bear with me. <laughs> Shania, as we stand here today on our wedding day, I look at you and wonder how we got ourselves here. But where do I even start? Although I could go on and on, let's be honest, I'm not one for writing big speeches, so I'll keep this one short and sweet. But yet the most important one of them all. The last year and a half that we have spent together is the reason we stand here today. As I look into your eyes, you are the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. You, who would have guessed that the night you walked into my house, the night that Brooke was bringing her hot friend, that we would be here today. And ever since that moment, when you walked in that door, I knew this was the one. I was absolutely blown away from day one. You have shown me what the true meaning of love really is. As I reflect back to the very night of us reading Kendall bedtime stories to soothe her to sleep, to today, taking her to Shawnee Beach, to the gym, getting nails done on girls' days, 
There is no other person that can match your capabilities as that stepmom. To come into a relationship and step up as that person is one giant step and job for that matter. And you fulfill that to go above and beyond that. You have come into a house and together we have made it a place we now call home. Your hard work and desire to be the best person you can possibly be is why we are here today. There is no person out there that could ever fill your shoes. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us along the way. So today, you become my wife, my soulmate. Today is meant for us. Today is our day, and here's to us. I love you with all my heart. Let's get married. May the great love that God has for us, a love so great that He sent His Son to die for us, be the example of the deep love you are to hold one for the other. We'll have the, the ceremony of the rings. And if Brandon, you would help me mm -hmm. out. You want me to hand them both to you? You hold on to the ring you're going to give to Shania. Okay. And then... May these rings be blessed as symbols of this love and affectionate unity. These two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever they go, may they always return to one another. Just as these rings are without end, may their love be eternal. May these rings be reminders of the spirit of love in their hearts. Okay, Brandon, I will address you first and repeat after me, okay? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Brandon, in placing this ring on Shania's finger, repeat after me. Shania, you now and forever. Shania, you now and forever. Belong to me. Belong to me. As my wife. As my wife. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As the pledge of my love. As the pledge of my love. And a symbol of our unity. And a symbol of our unity. And with this ring. And with this ring. I be wed. I be wed. Shania, I'll now address you. <clears throat> Shania, in placing this ring on Brandon's finger, repeat after me. Brandon, you now and forever. Brandon, you now and forever. Belong to me. Belong to me. As my husband. As my husband. From this day forward. From this day forward. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As the pledge of my love. As the pledge of my love. As the symbol of our unity. As the symbol of our unity. And with this ring. And with this ring. I be wed. I be wed. May you always share with each other the joys of love. Be, be one in heart and in mind. May you always create a home together that is filled with love, generosity, and kindness but above all else may your home be full of God's blessings inasmuch as Brandon and Shania <coughs> have consented together in marriage before this company of friends and family and have pledged their faith and declared their unity by giving and receiving a ring have joined together as husband and wife what therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So, by the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and by the Kecksburg Church of God, ordained by Almighty God, 
I now pronounce you man and wife. May your days be good and long upon the earth. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> So much. Ladies and gentlemen, I happily present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon Lee Bennett. Thank you. Don't have to leave this town to see the world. Cause it's something that I gotta do. I don't wanna look back in 30 years and wonder who you married to want to say it now want to make it clear for only you and god to hear when you love someone they say you set them free but that ain't gonna work for me Was a lot 